Rob Justice Show, live right now, right now on the CW58. Thank you very much. 751-1041 is the uh, phone number. All right, so I'm going through. We're going to get into, I'm, I'm going to kind of save all of this for the 8 o'clock. Um, it's, it's a slow build because I'm compiling online different suggestions for the list of the stupidest moments in Tucson of the past five years. By the way, can I say that the same way at least just one time? Because I think I've said it differently every single time I've said it. I have, haven't I? I've done like in the past five years, Tucson's stupidest moments. Tucson's stupidest moments in the past five years. The stupidest moments of Tucson between now and 08. I keep doing it differently. You understand what I'm trying to do, though. So I've been adding to the list of you as you've been uh, posting up on Facebook. So we're going to get into all that in the 8 o'clock hour, which is why I've been kind of... It's a, it's a slow build. Okay. All of it's leading up to Steve Kazachik and the details of him being caught urinating in public, which is just spectacular. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Or tinkle, tinkle. How do you ever want to look at it? <laughs> May I never, ever utter those words again on the show. I apologize. Epic. <laughs> It's not that easy being green. Having to spend each day the color of the leaves. Gone green update. When I think it could be nicer being red or yellow or gold or something much more colorful like that. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service announced it has completed a status review of the Rosemont Talus snail and conducted it is not a valid species and therefore does not warrant protection under the Endangered Species Act. Epic fail. It is being removed from the list of candidate species. Yes, it's a snail. Why was it there? Status review was undertaken following the 2010 Center for Biological Diversity petition to list the species resulted in the Rosemont talus snail being added to the list of candidate species. The Center for Biological Diversity, by the way, is a group that acts like they care about nature, but really what they care about doing is wasting taxpayer dollars and trying to bring down capitalism because they're very anti-capitalism um, by filing lawsuit after lawsuit after lawsuit wasting a bunch of time and energy. In 2012, scientists demonstrated that the Rosemont talus snail, uh, Sonorella rosemontennis. I don't think I got that right at all, but was described in error and is actually the same species as the Santa Rita talus snail, snail so, uh, Sonorella walkeri. Uh, basically, the Rosemont snail was misidentified, not endangered. How do you tell them apart? I mean, hello. I mean, do, do I? What do you? What do you? How do you? <laughs> that was really sad. I'm sorry. That was really just for the for the TV audience because you listening on radio have absolutely no idea what I just did, and to, to try to describe it, I cannot do. I can't. I can't describe it on radio. I can't. It works on TV and it's totally appropriate, but I can't do I can't say it without crossing boundaries, and those are boundaries that I will not cross. They're boundaries that Steve Kazachik can cross, apparently, but ones that I cannot. In August of 2012, the Center for Biological Diversity filed a lawsuit against the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service over the agency's denial of the Endangered Species Act protection of the pygmy owls. Many of you remember this. The group wanted the pygmy owl endangered status restored uh, across the Sonoran Desert of Arizona and Mexico. The agency's denial of the protection for the pygmy owl was based on the fact the owls are not endangered in the entire region in which they are found. Oddly enough, the pygmy owl is the same one that delivered letters to Harry Potter in the films. I didn't know if you knew that or not. Ten years later, the court ordered the Fish and Wildlife to reevaluate the Arizona pygmy owl. I'm sorry, Arizona's population of the owl was listed in danger back in 97. So ten years later, the court ordered the Fish and Wildlife to reevaluate the Arizona pygmy owl population apart from those in Mexico. The agency determined the loss of the pygmy owl from the Sonoran Desert would not endanger the species as a whole. Therefore, it was denied protection. Now, James Sturgeon... 